Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Poundland haul. So let's get cracking. Hi, yeah, so I'm sorry my channel's been a bit hit and miss um, over the past sort of week or so. Firstly, I wasn't feeling 100%, and then we've had a bereavement in the family. Um, and that's been very, very hard. And also my ex-partner came at the weekend with the last of my bits and pieces. So there's just been so much going on that I haven't been able to come on. But hopefully, you know, things are sort of getting back onto a, an even keel. So anyway, I went to Poundland about four days ago now. So the bag's just been sitting here waiting for me to show you. So I'll show you what I got. I'll put my gigs on. So yeah. So first up, I bought myself some tissues. These were the only ones I could get. And it says that they smell of menthol. I'm going to have a try, see if they do smell of menthol. They're just, um, these obviously were only a quid. But I've gone through that many tissues with everything that's been going on recently. Yeah, they do smell a bit like menthol. Very lightly so, though. If you didn't like menthol, I think you'd still be able to use them. You know, they are all right. How many did you get? 60 tissues in that. The way things are going at the moment, that'll probably last me today and tomorrow. <laughs> it's just been very traumatic recently. But anyway, that's those. Then I bought some toilet paper because everybody needs it, don't they? I, but I, to be honest, I forgot I'd got some in my Click Marketplace all. So I've got extra now. So I won't need any of that for a while. So quilted. Let's see if it is quilted. I always like to check these things out. I don't like you to have to guess. Oh, it is. You get quite a big hole in the middle though. I always think that's, you know, when they're quite low value toilet paper, you do get quite a big <laughs> tube hole in the middle to make them look bigger, in it? But anyway, got those. They are quilted. So good. Got them. And I bought myself some more pom bears. Love these. Already eaten a packet because <laughs> I just can't resist. They've only got like, what is it, 65 calories in a bag. Just absolutely love them. You get five bags for a quid. No, you get six bags for a quid. That's even better. I've still got five left. But look, I have actually been into one already. So that's that's what happens to me. I get a bag of crisps. As soon as they're home, that's it. I'm into them. So it's a good job there's any left at all, to be honest. It's only the fact that I'm trying to slim that I haven't got them all scoffed. I like that there's some other ones that I can have. They had some salt and vinegar ones a while ago when I went in there. But the only ones they had that I could have were these ready salted ones. I prefer the salt and vinegar, but, you know, I'm happy with those. So anyway, there's those. Then I got myself a couple of these because they're two for a quid. I think that's brilliant. They're not the biggest bottles, but I do like seven up. I like Coca-Cola and all sorts of things, me, and I like a fizzy drink on a night time. So, if, you know, if I fancy a cold drink, I like to have them in the fridge. So there's two of those anyway. Well, I, I can't remember how much they were each, but it were definitely two for a quid. So only 50p each when you buy two. So that's all right. Then I bought one of these for my mum. I always try and get her these. She doesn't have like internet and she's only got basic TV. So she does use a lot of these sort of Sudoku and word search and uh, crossword books. Now I've got her a word search one the other day, but I, I thought I'd get her another Sudoku one. There's loads in it. So that'll keep her going a bit because she doesn't tend to go out of the little town where we live. So um, I, if I can get her one that I don't think she'll have had, I get her, I get her it. So that were only a quid as well. 350 puzzles. That'll keep her going, like I said. So yeah, nice. Then I got myself one of these twisty brushes. I actually wanted a bigger one. You know, one of the bigger barrel ones. But they only had this. And I'm trying to... My hair's as flat as a pancake on top when I straighten it. And I want to get a bit of height here. You know, just to give it a bit more volume. So I thought I'd try this blow hot and cold blow dry brush. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use for my blow dry. And we'll see if it works out for me. I'll probably get my hair all matted into it. <laughs> and I'll have to cut it out. But anyway, I'll give it a go. See if it works out. Then I bought myself one of these. I these aren't my favourite makeup brushes. I prefer the ones that I get at um, Savers. But because I were in, I thought I'd get one. They're just these little, quite, they're quite soft, you know. They're not bad, these. Trouble is, if you wash them a few times, this bit here comes unglued from here. So a few of mine have sort of disintegrated over time. So I thought I'd top them up with another one. So that's that. Then I were running low on uh, washing powder. I could only get this in bold. 
I, I get bold because if I don't, if I, I can get Asda ones, they're all right for me, or bold ones. But if I get all else, I tend to come out in a rash on my skin. You know, if you wash your sheets and stuff in them. So I got this. It was four pounds, which weren't the cheapest. But you do get, how many did you get in, in it? 19. So that'll last me a fair while. There's only me, you know. So I put wash loads in. Don't, I don't need that many wash loads. So got that one anyway. Happy with that. Then I bought myself a couple of tea towels. Now these are massive. I've already got one and I said I was going to get some more jumbo tea towels. I got a grey one and a black one. They had them in different colours but I just wanted something quite neutral. They are really big. Like I say, I've got one already and I really like it. I wash them before I use them because otherwise I find that bits come off them. But look at the size of it, it's huge. Yeah, it's really, it's quite a decent sized tea towel. I really like them, like I say. And I find that once you've washed them once, they're really absorbent and they do dry up. Because I don't have a dishwasher here. I wash everything by hand and then dry them up. So these are my favourite tea towels. I've bought packs from other places, but I honestly prefer these Poundland ones. And at a quid each, it's no, is it? Then I got myself some rubber gloves for cleaning around everything. Also, I'm starting making art again. And sometimes I need to wash out brushes with turps and things. So I knew I needed some. They were only a quid as well. I got them in a medium. I'm hoping they're going to fit. Have a look. Because I've got quite big hands, you know. They only get bigger as you get older, I think. I think they're one of them things like ears that carry on growing. Oh, they're all right, these. These are fit fine. I wish the fingers were a bit longer, though. I feel like I'm joined out of my knuckles. But anyway, got those. They'll be fine. Then I've seen these and I have to get them. They're just mint imperials. Well, I love a mint. And I like to have these in. I can actually eat these. There's just sugar dextrose flavouring. May contain peanuts and nuts. Don't know why that is. But anyway, maybe they've sneaked in there. It's probably because it's a factory that processes nuts as well. But yeah, I can eat everything that's in those. So very happy with them. So nice. Oh, I like them in Imperial. I'm going to have one of them after I finish filming. And then I queued up at checkout and I've seen this. It's just a little palette, but it will reduce to 50p. Thought it'd be rude not to. So I'm going to open it and see. So that you don't waste your money if they are pants. Let's try it out. Do a bit of a swatch. Look, that one feels a bit like it might be a bit more. Oh no, they're both very matte. Look, that's him. Um, hmm. Maybe that's got a bit of a shimmer, that pink one. But the grey one is definitely matte. They've got a fair bit of pigment to them, but they're not the most exciting things. But I'm sure I'll use them. You know, one day I'll feel like I need something that's really dark and I'll get that out. So, yeah, we're only 50p. So, bargain. And then I decided to get this. This were only a quid as well. Now, when there's only one of you, you do, sometimes you want to put, like, you know, three veggie fingers in or something like that. You don't need a massive tray. So I thought I'll get this for just such an occasion because it's just tiny. You know, if I want to put one jacket spud in, that'll be great for that. And they had it in grey. They had it in different colours as well, but I really like this grey colour because most of the stuff in this house is grey, if truth be known. So, yeah, I liked it. I like the fact that the label peeled off with no messing as <laughs> well. That, that always makes me happy. So I got that one. They had loads of these. They had different shapes and sizes. The bigger ones, I think, were two and three pounds. But these little ones were only a quid. So that'll be perfect for me. Stick that in the oven with my spudding. And, um, and it'll crisp up lovely. So very happy with it. I like that it was this oval shape as well. I don't know why. I don't think that's going to make any difference whatsoever to be cooking. But... You know, it, I liked that it were an oval shape. I found it aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah. Then I found these pens and I just and rubbers. And I just really liked them. They were only a quid each. These are like Lego shape. I don't know if they're going to be any good, but I just liked them. See, I don't have any erasers, rubbers at the moment, apart from on the end of pencils. Oh, my goodness, they're tiny. Can you stack them? Let's have a look, see if you can. Look, they've got different sizes. They're just like Lego. You can actually build them. They come apart a little bit, look. But you can actually stack them together. They're all right, aren't they? I'll be able to use those when I'm doing drawing and things. I hope they're all right and don't leave like a nasty residue. 
but I just thought there was such a good bargain and also I just like that there were little Lego ones blocky razors because I can't say Lego can because that's a brand name I can say Lego because I'm not affiliated with him and I'm not trying to flog him so yeah so anyway that's those and I also seen these pen ones which I thought were even better so let's have a look at these I love an highlighter pen I use highlighters in my artwork a lot can I get them out of the packet that's gonna be a thing right so that's it oh it's look Look just like that. Oh, I like them a lot. Do they step together? They blinking do and oh, look at that. And keep them all together in a block and then they come off. They're great. I like them better than rubbers. Really nice. So I'll be using those. Like I say, I use them in my artwork. So use all sorts of pens and pencils and things. I'm really happy with those. I'm going to tell you anyway. So... I'm starting my PhD. <laughs> Can you believe this? <laughs> I'm starting my PhD in September. So yeah, that should be fun in games. Oh my days. So it's in fine art. So, uh, so when I say I do drawing and painting, that's what it's for. So anyway, I'm very happy with my pens. I'm sure other people buy sensible pens and pencils for their PhD, but not me. Anyway, then I bought some stuff for boys. I seen these, just absolutely thought they were great. So they were a quid. That were all. When I got to check out, I thought they might be two or three, but no, just a pound. Because I looked for books for them, but they didn't have any this time. And I were only at the little pound land. I want at the big one. Can I actually open these? Yes, I can. Oh, look at those. They're dead cute. Look. So they're like that, sort of slightly wooden on back. So they're lovely. They've got little numbers on them as well for matching. But I just thought they were great. I thought I'd give those to boys. One of them's nearly two now and other one's four. So they'll be able to play with those, won't they? Really nice. How many did you get in them, though? Is there a lot? You get 28 altogether, 28 dominoes in those. But they're great. I really like them. They'll be able to do matching with them and stuff. That'll be good. And I like to get them a bit of summer when I'm in, you know, squid each. It's not. So anyway, there's those. And then I got them these little balls. Now these you could have, I suppose, could you have these for your dog? Maybe not. They're maybe a bit soft. But um, yeah, just little ball things. Spiky balls. Thought they'd like those. Be able to play with those in house as well as everywhere else, won't they? Because they're just soft ones. They're not hard. They're not going to knock a load of stuff off and things. Anyway, three for a quid. I like the colours as well. Jazzy. It looks even jazzier on camera. They're not quite so jazzy in reality, but, you know. Anyway, three balls for a pound. I thought that were really good. Because, I don't know about you, but my kids were forever losing ba uh, the balls from bats and balls as well. You'd hit them somewhere and that would be it. The ball would be gone. So, in fact, one time me and my daughter resorted to rolling up a pair of socks and batting that between us. And then that went over into the neighbour's garden. So, bummy neck. So, anyway, they'll be able to play with those. It'll, it'll give them some replacements for any missing balls, if you see what I mean. And then last, I got them some of these. I used to love these. And I, my kids used to love these as well. Super gliders. So, I'll just open it and show you one. You get nine in them. But let's just open it and see. My daughter won't mind. And I like to show you, because if the pants, then you're not wasting your money, are you? Anyway. Okay, they've got these little things here. What are they for? Oh, please don't let them be too complicated for me. There's no instructions. And I'm not that good at stuff like this. So, there's a little slot here. Please let me be able to do it. So you push that through there, like that. So you've got your little plating. And then what's these bits? Okay, you've got one of those and then one of these. So I think, holy moly, what do you do with this? Yes, these are quite fiddly. Right, so you push that through into there. So you've got a little propeller at front and then clip it on, I think. Yeah, like that. So you've got your little aeroplane. I'm going to throw it and see how far it goes. Not very far. <laughs> it crashed and burned. But it might be my lack of ability to make the thing. Who knows? But anyway, hopefully uh, my daughter and, and her partner will be able to sort those out for boys. 
good gracious me. When I can't do the stuff that's meant for kids, you know, you know how daft I am. Oh dear. But anyway, that's everything from my Poundland haul. Didn't get so much this time, but uh, I'm going to have a trip up to the big Poundland so I can have a look around the clothing and things next time. Um, but that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. Thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!